am Laura Marie, and I help run the Las Vegas Radical Mental Health Collective. I wanted to show you my emotional first aid kit. I have this kit that I made a few years ago, and it's helpful to me when I'm feeling anxious or sad or just in need of comfort. It has a lot of things in it that I find comforting in a sensory in a sensory way or in more of a um, like an intellectual way or even in chemical ways. So one of the uh, things that's in it is this uh, body butter that has a it's like a lotion, but it's in this little tin, and it has a delicious smell. So then you can put it on your skin. Um, which is a sensory pleasure and also like a um, self-care thing. So if you're upset and you need comfort, like it can be a really good way to spend a few minutes and just kind of get yourself through those minutes. Then uh, similarly, there's kind of like a, the squeezy ball is like a little smaller than standard probably, but it does the job and then um, Let's see, I have this notebook that has some um, things I've written in it that um, is visioning. So when, I, when I'm feeling hopeless or down, I can um, look at the things I've written in this notebook to help myself feel good about the future and the options that I have. So this is a special notebook that's mostly just for that kind of planning. And then there's a sketchbook too. In the sketchbook, I can write poems in or draw pictures. There are also a couple of stickers stuck in here, which are uh, Las Vegas Radical Mental Health Collective stickers, which are, you know, beautiful to look at, have uh, vivid colors. There's this um, little packet in here of affirmation cards that my spouse Ming and I made. Well, actually I bought these blank cards and then we wrote affirmations on them. So this one says, I'm kind to myself and others. This one says, I believe in myself. So it's not like 30 or 100 affirmation cards, it's just a few, which is kind of like a teaser so that it's not like an overwhelming amount, it's just a few just to think some thoughts that might be positive or helpful. And similarly, I have this little ATC that I made. It says on it, we're designed to connect. And this ATC has some special affirmations on it that are specifically to help me have hope when I need hope in the future. So this one says I have a lot of options. The future is full of fun possibilities. I'm great at thinking of new things to try. I like asking for help. So it's like a really good um, card for when I need that sort of help. I have this poem that my best friend wrote for me. It's in this little packet. So I can have the pleasure of opening up this poem and seeing what my best friend wrote to me. It's called Full Day Spell. And it's a poem she wrote me for my birthday a few years ago. It's really beautiful. And then I have some tea. This is oat straw tea. So it is calming tea. I use it for when I feel too up. Likewise, there's some magnesium glycinate here. This is um, four pills is 100% of a RDA. So I usually take one of these and it helps me feel a little calmer. Similarly, here's some Benadryl, which if I really, really can't sleep, I need to, I can take one of those. Try to sleep and here's a PRN, similar. I never take this PRN, but it's there if I need it, which is nice. Then there are some stones. These ones are from like one of those, kind of like a witchy store. So this is a jasper, judicite, I think another type of jasper. And they feel really smooth and a pleasure in the hands. And sometimes when I feel lonely, 
I could hold the stones and it feels kind of like holding hands with a person. It's like really it feels solid and helpful in a solidifying way. I also have in here um, an art postcard that I find comforting to look at of a sacred site. And I have a letter I wrote to myself in this card that says open and has my favorite color combination. And a picture of my Ishtadeva. So this is a religious uh, icon that I find comforting. There's a pen in here for the sketchbook and journal. There's a delicious smelling essential oil roller. This smells like um, citrus and vanilla. It's really, it's really delicious. Makes me happy. So that's good. And then there's a rock that I found in a riverbed in Joshua Tree. Some rocks from New Mexico. Another rock that's smooth and good to the hand. There's a rose quartz angel that my friend gave to me, who I love, who I miss. I like to see that in there. There's an angel, angel medallion that says peace on the back. Probably you can't read that, it's tiny. And then here's a medallion for religion that I don't do. But it's kind of ornate and beautiful and fun to look at and a pleasure to touch in a different way. There's a fertility goddess that I like to play with, like a doll. And then <clears throat> there's this ring that I found in a gutter in Sacramento two years ago. So this is a lot of stuff that fits in my kit. And I like to keep it in a clear zipper pouch so that I could see through it and I know what's in there. And it feels very inviting. It's easy to grab and open and use. So. Thanks for hearing about my emotional first aid kit and I hope you feel empowered to make one for yourself or someone else who might need one in your life. And I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have uh, about what's good in the kit. Oh, I usually have tea also. Um, this tea, Ostra tea, is psychoactive, but more a more neutral tea. I, ha I usually like to keep like a lemongrass tea in there. So something without caffeine but like really delicious and a pleasure to brew. So thank you for hearing my tale and I'll see you next time.